my shop. Today is a little bit different. Well, also has got something to do. I had an idea uh, later in the week uh, and I thought about um, making sanding more efficient on a cheap lathe like mine. Okay, what is important when you are sanding that's a low speed on the lathe? So my idea had been, well, uh, you've got some vacuum cleaners and I've got my old one, you can see over here. And I thought, well, this has got a speed control for the, uh, for the uh, thing which is rotating and sucking the air. And I said, so, okay, why not use that to also control the speed of my lathe? Well, I forgot about one thing, and I'll tell you about that later. Both motors are running on AC, and uh, so I just went ahead and disassembled my uh, vacuum, like you can see over here, I guess, and built this test board. This test board is, well, just, I just mounted the electronics of the, of the vacuum onto this board and got two cords, one for the power coming in and one for the power coming out. I can prove that it is working as I got this light here and I can control the intensity of the light by turning the knob. So actually this circuit here is working. Uh, so I thought okay if the circuit is working here it should be also working over at my lathe. So follow me along over to my lathe and I show you what happened. Now the, the test board is over here at my lathe and this is just as a test and the lathe is plugged in into the regular plug and it is running like normal as set to the slowest speed I've got which is 850 rounds per minute but this is f too fast for sanding and the circuit is still working as you might see on the, oh, just get the light a little bit into the into the view. You see, the circuit is still working. I go ahead and uh, plug the lathe into the into my circuit and now the lathe is running through this circuit here. So switch on, have the power to maximum. I can see that the lathe is starting slowly on that one. And when I turn the, the knob, I, I can hear the difference in the sound of the lathe. So I think, hmm, okay, it might change the, uh, the rounds per minute, but I want to be sure. So I thought about how to measure the rounds per minute on this one. I could take the, the footage and count the pictures on there, but as the footage hasn't got the resolution for well, uh, being that precise, I thought about a different thing. You, everybody got a cell phone and I just mounted a piece of sandpaper into the check. So the sandpaper is rotating the same way. I got my smartphone and with a the smartphone there is an app for recording, voice recording. So what am I recording here? 
lathe is running and the sandpaper is flapping on here. And just start this one. Now get it to full power and start it. You can hear it. Step, step, step. And this is what I'm recording now. see in the in the graphic here somewhere around here these are the results and when I put them one over the other you can see actually there is no difference this means the flaps have the same amount of time in between and this gives me the idea there isn't a change in 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 the frequency so the rounds per minute this thing is doing. So why? I'll tell you. Okay, why is that? Why can't I control the, f uh, the, the rounds per minute on my lathe, but am I I'm able to control the rounds per minute on this vacuum motor? What I forgot about, and this had been taught to me 30 years ago, is that there are two different types of, well, single-faced AC motors. This is the one here, and this one hasn't got a condenser. And as I showed you how I changed the condenser, this one is a motor with a condenser. Actually, the motor on, of the condenser is not working on a single phase, but the condenser is, well, uh, simulating or producing a second phase. So this motor is running on two phases. This one here is really running on only one phase, as there is only one coil instead of two coils over here. And uh, you can, by reducing the voltage coming into a motor like this, this is what the, the circuit here is doing, you can control the speed of this motor. Okay, why can't you do it with this one? These motors, you can only control the speed of these motors by the frequency of the alternating current coming into it. Over here in Germany it's 60 Hertz and uh, the machine is running on 60 Hertz as long as well the motor is running on 60 Hertz which is the frequency given as long as it's got enough voltage to start running. That's the reason why it started that bad. Because the circuit here is cutting off parts of the uh, of the wave of the alternating current, which just reduces the the voltage you've got. Well, okay, this has happened 30 years ago, and uh, well, you can forget about some things during the time, but you should never uh, try. Uh, you should never say something is impossible what is on your mind so you just go ahead and try out your ideas if you're working with electric like i had been doing you should be trained i had been trained well although 30 years ago i had been well trained for electric and i had been working as an electronic for repairing radios and television and uh, this had been before my career as a designer 
nevertheless, uh, the idea just, well, at first I thought it was a total failure, but in a way I am able to um, share my experience I made with you, so none of you gets into the uh, idea of getting something, uh, well, a normal, I don't know how they are called in, in English, but here it, it's a dimmer, uh, one for light or whatever, to control the speed of your lathe, because these are working the same as the circuit from the from the vacuum. They are only meant for, well, controlling light or controlling motors like these without a condenser. So, with that said, I hope you learned a little bit from that what I had to recall the last day and this had been my kind of a way my homework I did for you. And uh, with that said, it's up to my next video with uh, greetings from Gordel, Germany. It's your Peter Freitag. Thank God it's Friday.